So what am I going to report to you today? Just two more weekends to go, looping the Starship until this classic ride closes at Valley Fair. Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Bob, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Valley Fair. Just a short update this one and it's the closure of another attraction at the minute with no replacement. We know that Valley Fair is going to be doing their new Grand Carnivale uh, celebration, seasonal celebration next year. No new attractions, uh, however it's a closure of another attraction. This is the Looping Starship that carried riders over 15 metres tall upside down for a short period of time. It is closing, uh, two more weekends to go and it closes after 34 years of operation. Such a shame this ride's been removed. Um, I think the Looping Starship definitely is a classic attraction. There was loads in the UK and Europe, and now it's just like most of them are overseas. Obviously, you've got things like the Black Pearl, uh, Lightwater Valley in their Skeleton Cove area. How long does that one have? Uh, obviously, I have experienced that ride. I know what a Looping Starship is like, and you know, it's a real classic attraction. Um, obviously, the, uh, the Black Pearl's technically different because it's uh, not like the two arms uh, and it's sort of like got the cages on and stuff like that so it's a real modern take on a looping starship um, and just one instead of two usually there's like two or one or two but it's like this one's just got one in the UK and Blackpool's like one of the only permanent uh, starship models like modern starship models in the UK technically uh, so uh, this looping starship that's been operating at Valley Fair for 34 years this is one of the classic models it's been in Europe, it's been in the UK, it's been in the States, and now it's only in the States and overseas in Asia that you can find these starships. But America loses another one. The looping starship closing after 34 years of operation at Valley Fair. Does this mean we're going to see a late announcement for a new flat ride next year or the year after at Valley Fair? Is this a sign we're going to see preparation for the land uh, for 2021? Again, not too sure at this point. Uh, me personally, I'd like to see a new flat ride at Valley Fair in 2021, but I think with Cedar Fair stocks uh, sort of going down, with Six Flags going high, I think Cedar Fair need to start investing a lot more money uh, to make sure that their parks have got the best attractions that, they've, that they can uh, find, really. Um, because if you look at Cedar Fair's investments next year compared to Six Flags' investments, Six Flags are going to be building uh, a coaster, relocating a coaster, uh, doing loads of other attractions, flat rides, water park additions, uh, family additions as well. Um, you know, they've got a real mixture. Cedar Fair have basically got two carnivals, loads of water park additions, and one Giga Coaster. Now, the Giga Coaster is massive, but as well as other improvements, and the kids' area as well, you know, for, can't forget Camp Snoopy opening at Michigan's Adventure. But if you sort of think about it in terms of how much has been invested, I think Six Flags is going to be beating Cedar Fair this year by a merry mile. Uh, even though Orion could be a major success, I think Six Flags will just edge it with the likes of Jersey Devil, uh, Vipair. I know that's been coming along really well in construction at the Ronde. Uh, so there's a real push for Six Flags next year. Cedar Ferry to really push it in 2021. And I think with Cedar Fair poised to get uh, Cedar Point poised to get a coaster in 2021 with King's Dominion likely to get a coaster to replace uh, uh, Volcano in 2021. I think with Knott's maybe getting a coaster in 2021 as part of like a ghost town expansion that's been rumoured for a while. Um, I think I think Valley Fair should get a coaster. I think it'd be nice to get the long rumoured B&M invert on the Dinosaurs Alive site. But I think with the Looping Starship now being removed, are they going to put in a late flat ride for next year? Or are they going to save it for 2021 or dare I say 2022? Uh, where we're going to see an SBNO site for two years, uh, I dare I say it. Um, there's many questions about what the future of this site is, but I think for the last two weekends, over you, oh, those fans over there in the States, make sure you ride the Looping Starship as best you can while you've got the chance, because it is a real classic flat ride attraction, and uh, hopefully it goes away peacefully and not with a, uh, a breakdown of some sort. You look at the closure of the... Uh, corkscrew coaster at La Ronde, Super Menehe, I think it's pronounced, or Menehe, or, or, or Menehe, I think it's pronounced. Um, you look at the last day of that coaster, 
Uh, it was operating fine. It broke down so the people couldn't get the last rides in before the closure of the park. So it was a real sad closure for that ride. Hopefully it doesn't go the same way as the, uh, with the Looping Starship here at Valley Fair. But those of you who were down in the last two weekends at Valley Fair and they're going to ride this attraction for the last time, comment down below what is your memories of uh, the Looping Starship and I'll reply to every single comment. You know I do. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Valley Fair and the closure of their 34 year old attraction Looping Starship. Rest in peace. Uh, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts, memories and theories down below about the future of the site and also your memories of the, of the attraction. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more theme park news updates and make sure you also uh, hit the notification bell so you never miss any more thrilling content. And for now guys, I'm Coast Chow, Keel in the Coast of Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.